Are you looking for the best toilet night light? We got one. We're going to talk about it today. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have. And I believe we got this one at Christmas. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So uh, we were at White Elephant uh, that my mom does every year where you pile a bunch of gifts in the middle that everyone brings and then you take turns picking gifts. And we got stuck with the toilet night light, uh, this, this thing here. And um, it comes, first of all, it comes does come in like a little sleeve. I kept everything for whatever reason uh, that it comes in. And then it also has a little instruction manual in there, which probably actually do want to read this through. So I'm, I'm actually going to go through some of this with you guys so that you guys know exactly how these things work. This is the unit right here. This sits on the outside of the toilet. This goes down underneath the lid onto the inside of the toilet. And then it has this very uh, 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 rigid, I guess, um, wiring right here. So you can actually like get it really close to the toilet and so it doesn't fall in or anything because obviously this side's going to be heavier than this side. It also does come with a USB cable. I just found an extra one because I don't know what happened to the one that came with this one. But uh, it does, you can charge it with a USB right here to be able to get the night light to work and there's a lithium ion battery on the inside. So uh, first one I want to do though is we got to talk about these instruction manuals because there's a couple of things that we've had this thing since Christmas time. I used to hate this thing and now uh, I think I, that I actually might like it after reading these instructions. So we're going to talk about what I like about it and what I didn't like based on these instructions here. So 16 color motion sensor toilet night light user's manual. Now that's what this is called. Open it up and it says, thank you for choosing our toilet light to guide your late night bathroom trips. We kindly ask you read this instruction manual before installing the product. Okay, first thing I got to note, just from reading that first paragraph, I can tell that they actually got someone. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is made in China. I don't. I didn't see if it said that on there or anything. But um, usually, whenever you get these types of products, they are um, they're usually the English is usually very broken and very hard to understand. So um, being that that sentence or a couple of sentences was in perfect English, very uh, excited about that. Package contents, you're going to get the motion sensor toilet light, you're going to get the user's manual, and then there's a micro USB charging cable, which apparently we lost or whatever, but any USB charging cable will work. Um, it's the kind with this, that kind of end uh, that fits in there. There you go. It's you know, kind of a USB, I don't know what they're called, the micro one. <laughs> Uh, rechargeable design. So it has a built-in 750 milliamp hour, milliamp hour polymer lithium battery. It's uh, fully charged in three to four hours. Uh, the indicator light on the front of the toilet light turns from red to green. So just to demonstrate that for you guys, I figured that we would go ahead and put this thing on the charger so that you can see. Oh, another qualm that I have about this thing. One thing that I don't really like is that whenever I go to pull down the USB little nougat here that's supposed to keep this thing from getting water inside of it, I always want to pull from the top. Most products you pull from the top. But this one you pull from the bottom, and uh, it's it's a small little detail that uh, I don't. I would like to know why they did it that way, and I don't really have a good answer. So I'm just going to insert the micro USB cord into there like that. Let me take y'all to where the outlets are. Right on over here. Already got a little brick set up right there. So let's plug in that little guy, and then that little light will turn red. Now we've been using this, and we've never charged it before. And so uh, it's, it needs to be charged. So whenever this is done charging, it's going to turn green. And that's whenever we know that it'll be charged. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little charge while we're, while we're going through this real quick. Because I want to talk to you guys about some of the other settings that they have in here. Um, let's see. The power source is a power adapter, a power bank, a laptop, desktop, <laughs> desktop, USB. Well, I'm picturing somebody at the toilet with like a desk and a big desktop right here. And they got their little night light, their little toilet light plugged into it. I don't know why it made me think of that, but obviously you'd take the light to the desktop. Um, and then there's a low battery indicator, the red light. 
uh, blinks five times to let you know that the battery is dying on it and you need to charge it. So super easy installation. Obviously you adjust it to your toilet, you place it on there, and then you turn off the lights. <laughs> they, they literally have a diagram of that, which I found hilarious. <laughs> All right, on the other side, instructions. LED light turns on when you enter, illuminating the toilet and room, and automatically turns off after one minute of activity. Now, we kept this one at the bathroom in the hallway for a good while, and every time you walk by the hallway, if the indicator is facing towards the door, it's gonna turn on. So it has a pretty uh, good sensor on there for being able to see the movement in the hallway. Uh, the LED light only activates in low light or darkness for max battery life. So that makes sense anyway because you don't need extra lights uh, in a bright room because obviously you won't be able to see it that well. Um, okay, so there's a single button on the front of the sensor. And this is one of the things that I wanted to talk about because I really didn't quite uh, grasp what this button was for. I just thought that it was like an on-off button type of thing. So right underneath the sensor here, there's this little button. And we're gonna talk about all of the functions of that button because there's actually three functions to that button right there. Let's go ahead and go through them real quick. Y'all ready? The first one, this is the one that I wish I knew. So um, it's a, a fixed color. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press long two seconds until the LED blinks blue. Then you're gonna click the button to select the desired color and then wait a few seconds until the LED flashed one time. Then you're gonna return to, to return to rotation mode. You press the long button again until it blinks green. So I actually wanna test this out right now. We're gonna long press two seconds. One, two, okay, there's our blink. Um, click the button to select your color. I want red. And then wait a few seconds until the LED flashed one time. There it was. So. What that does is that keeps this onto just the red color for the, and this has a little internal memory in there. So it's gonna remember what you, setting you have it set on. So I'll, at the end of the video, I'll get into why I want the red color on here. Um, let's go through the rest of these functions first of all. Uh, there is a dimmer for it. Press short to toggle through the five stages of brightness. I got a big giant window right here. Let me, uh, let's come in here. I'm gonna turn off the light. There we go. Okay, so this is five, four, three, two, one. So depending on, uh, you know, when you use the bathroom late at night and you don't want your eyes to be all hurting and whatnot, you can go down to some of these low settings or if you like it to be really bright so that you can actually see where you're, where it makes sure your stuff's going into the toilet, then you can leave it at its full brightness. Then uh, there's a turn on and turn off for this if for whatever reason it's not turning off or you just wanna turn it off in the middle of the night, uh, you just long hold for seven seconds. Four, five, six, seven, boom, there it is. Uh, and press short to turn it on. The unit is powered off for transportation safety. So if you wanna turn it on, boom. Now, let's see, did that turn it on? I'm see. Yeah, there it is. Huh, this is interesting. That internal memory did not stay. I thought that that memory was supposed to make it stay. I read something about that. So now do I have to, I have to reset this. So we're gonna long hold again. One, two, blink blue. Now I can toggle through, go to my red that I want. There's 16 colors on here, so they give you a lot to choose from, which is super nice. There it is. Now what do I do? Uh. Click button, select desire, okay, wait a few seconds and wait for the flash. Okay, we just saw the flash. Okay, so that are, those are the different functions of this particular toilet, toilet light. Now, whenever it comes to cleaning and caring for it, you can use a damp cloth or a towel to clean it and it can be washed in low running water. You just wanna make sure that you put in your USB uh, water sealer tightener thing right here to make sure that no water gets into the USB port because that will obviously affect the functions of it. Specifications, the name is a rechargeable toilet light. It weighs 2.08 ounces. Uh, the dimensions are three by two by two by 0.8. Uh, power input is five volt, 500 uh, milliamps. 
Uh, motion sensor distance is three to five meters. That's what I was saying whenever we were walking by the hallway. The light detection is 20 lux. The wattage is 0.2 watts because it's just a simple little small uh, LED bulb. Uh, the source is an RBG LED. Certificate is CERohs and CFCC. Warranty and customer service. Uh, if anything goes wrong within one year, they'll send you a new one absolutely free. Just contact them before contacting, contacting Amazon. Um, faster and more knowledgeable service and they handle the return free returns. And then they say your opinion matters if you want to go and leave a product review on Amazon. They definitely appreciate that, all that thing stuff. Now, what I find interesting about this is that they did not give an email address for their warranty if you need to contact them. So I have no clue how you would contact them. Maybe get online somewhere. Did they put their website on the box? I sure as heck don't see it on the box. So uh, you might have a little trouble getting in contact with these guys. But now I want to actually demonstrate this thing for you. Uh, it's super bright in here. So let's try. Ah, I have an idea. Okay. What we can do. Ah, shut this. Door. Okay. Light came on because it's super dark. Just kind of give you guys an idea of what this light does is uh, I'm going to put the light in the sink and you can kind of see how the lights bounces around the rim and the interior of the sink and it lights up the whole thing. It actually looks really cool whenever you get it into your toilet. So uh, put that, that right like that. So this is basically like if that was the toilet, that is what it would look like. It basically makes the bowl glow, which I think is a really, really cool look and great for nightlight. So you can make sure that you are using the bathroom into your bowl. Uh, also great for kids as well or uh, parents who have trouble seeing at night. Um, kids, because they usually are afraid of the dark possibly and so it gives them a beacon to be able to make it to the bathroom and hopefully if um if your kids are uh needing to use the bathroom in the middle of the night they're not afraid to get out because there is light and so it's hopefully less likely chance of them to have a potty accident in their bed and that's one thing that i really like about this the other thing is for older people you know if they have trouble seeing in the dark or at night or need glasses that type of uh, stuff again another beacon for them to be able to go to whenever they are um, trying to do that. Now, the reason why I like red light, I'm sure you guys are wondering why the heck I like red light. So I don't know if you watched a couple of my other videos about uh, biohacking, but one thing that I've been getting into is l the junk light. And uh, blue light is really not good for you. So like at night, uh, whenever I'm working on my computer or whatnot, I usually have a red lamp turned on behind me. And I have this screen thing uh, over on my computer, a program that turns the, the colors to like a dingy, orangey yellow type of color so it's kind of like night sight on your phone if you if you have that turned on and so um, the idea behind the red light is that when every night after everyone's asleep I get up right before I go to bed and I have to use the bathroom and so I'd always walk into the bathroom and this thing would be on but I never knew how to set it to a fixed color and now uh, or back then, before then uh, I would have to go in there and it would like always turn on with like a white and then a blue and then like a yellow and all these really harsh uh, lights for my eyes. And they always like, I'm like, oh God. But red light is supposed to kind of keep you in a sleep state um, to give you give yourself better sleep. And so now that I can turn this thing to red all the time, I'm going to absolutely love this thing. And I'm very excited to put it back on the toilet so that I can use it at night. Because usually I go in there and I'm like stumbling around on things that the kids left on the ground and whatnot and trying not to make a whole bunch of noise and uh, it's just gonna solve another problem but actually it solves two problems one I can actually see and I don't fall on things two uh, the kids have a night light three it doesn't whack up my uh, circadian rhythm so that I can keep that red light there and uh, and make me hopefully sleep a little bit better so I'm actually very excited about this thing. I like that it has that internal battery in it too so that I don't have to keep buying batteries over and over for it. I hate having to buy those like AA and AAA type of batteries. So if you guys want to check this thing out, like I said, I'll link it up down in the description below. Y'all can go and check them out. Go read other people's reviews about them, not just take my word for it. But I've been using it for a few months and I'm excited now though that I figured out how to put a fixed light on there. 
If you guys want to see some of the other bathroom accessories, I'm going to put a playlist of videos right here. We've done things from the squatty potty to like this deodorizer thing, all kinds of stuff. Go click these videos right here. I'll see y'all in those videos. A bidet. Uh, thank you dads for watching. Have you ever used a bidet before? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated and dad out.